Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a lack of jackets, Mac, and it's Waffle Man, a little bit for video. And we are here to respond to this nigga's video. He calls himself, whatchamacallit, what does this nigga call himself on YouTube? Shoot everybody. He calls himself Shoot Everyone on YouTube. Uh, I'll post a link of his video in the description. Before on YouTube, you can post uh, video links or video responses, and you can put them right in the comment section. Uh, but YouTube's changed, so I'll put the link into his video in the description. And basically, what he's saying is that NBA 2K17 will be trash because 2K won't do some of the stuff he says in the videos. Now, I'm going to break down each point he says, or most of the points he says, and I'm going to tell you my opinion on the points and you can put your opinions in the comment section and I will be replying in the next couple of days but anyways first thing he talks about is my park he talks a lot about my park and the first thing he talks about is three seconds in the paint and that three seconds in the paint should not be incorporated in my park now I'm gonna say why I disagree with this now first of all three seconds in the paint to me is one of the best things that happened to my park do you understand back in 2k15 Back in 2K15, when people used to stand in the paint, people used to stand in the paint holding the pick button, holding the circle button or whatever it is on Xbox, and they used to stand in the paint and just do that. And that used to be so annoying, man. There was no violation for standing in the paint. You can stand in the paint for how many seconds you want. That used to be very annoying, man, because, yo, the people that set picks in the paint, they always got the rebounds. You can't box them out. You can't drive into the paint because people are always standing there. It's just so annoying, man. Like, it's just, I don't even understand how that's fun. And people were doing that, like, every single game, people were doing that. It was ridiculous. And you had two people standing in the paint, sending picks, and it's like, really? Like, really, though? Like, it, I understand that it doesn't happen in real life, but in a game like this, you need it, man. You need it in a video game, man, to balance it out. So, I think he's wrong on that point, man. I mean, three seconds in the paint was a huge deal breaker for Park. And to me, it made the gameplay much more better. It made it more diverse, man. It's not just people just camping in the paint. Like, really, niggas just camping in the paint, son? It's it's It was crazy before. Second thing he talks about is that, you know, they, the new patch uh, basically incorporated the three seconds outside the paint into the back area. Because, you know, people, people run out of the paint and they go into the blacktop area uh but now you have to one side to side i don't really mind that either because it doesn't really make any sense you're not going to see a big man really in real life go out of bounds in the paint even e even in real life on the on the park people are not going to just run out of bounds you know towards back you know in into the paint uh, onto the blacktop like that's not going to happen so i like that new move 2k made as well next thing he talks about is park cars now, I, I do agree Park cards shouldn't be in 2K17. Not sure why park cards. Park cards are just a way for 2K to make you spend more VC on the game. So you think you're better. But honestly, you're really not better. Because park cards really don't really affect anything. Like I said before in my park videos. The only park cards that really do damage are Team 3's. Uh, you know, mid-range scorer. And basically Team on Fire. Or any, any park cards that make you go on fire. That's the only park cards that really do the most damage. Everything else is kind of like... It's kind of irrelevant, and if you use it, I mean, you're just wasting your VCs, to be honest. Uh, next thing he talks about is dead eye shots going in a lot more than wide open shots. Now, sometimes this does happen, you know. Wide open shots do tend to brick a lot sometimes, uh, and a, a lot of contested shots going. I ain't going to lie, a lot of contested shots. I just need to balance that out a little bit, but it's not really nothing to grab. About. I mean, just play good defense. You're going to get rewarded eventually. Uh, next thing he talks about is that excellent releases should always go in now this this is true i think all excellent releases since it's more rarer in this game they should go in a lot more because sometimes you miss excellent releases it's like really uh but you know that goes down to your shooting and your shooting form man i mean if you're not getting green releases anyways then you shouldn't be complaining not throwing shots but i'm saying if you're not getting green releases then you should work on your shot before you complain about getting green releases next thing He's talking about a comeback algorithm. Now, a lot of people have this 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 theory or whatever it's called that there's a comeback algorithm in 2K, like a momentum shift. I used to say that back in my videos back in 2K15 that the momentum is swinging, that the momentum shift is kicked in. But in 2K16, I don't believe this is true, man. In the park, when I'm always up by a good amount of, of, of points, I never, never uh, let the other team come back. Unless my teammates might do some dumbass stuff. And you see me taking some crazy ass shots when we're up. That's the only reason the teams or other teams come back. 
But other than that, if you play the same way you're playing when you're winning as you were when the game is tied or when you're losing, then you should be able to keep that lead anyways. Like for example, if you're going to take a wide open layup uh, when you're up by 10 points, then you're going to make that layup. It's not like you're going to break a wide open layup. So there's no comeback algorithm in my opinion. It doesn't make any sense, man. The only comeback algorithm is just you sucking and not being able to hold a lead. That's the only comeback algorithm, to be honest. Because when people people have the tendency to, to when they're up by a large margin, they just tend to relax. No, you got to keep your gas on the pedal all the way throughout the whole game. And that way, the lead will stay throughout the whole game. But, you know, people always take their foot off the gas. It's true. It's true. Even I do it. And I complain when I lose by that because it's my fault. It's not the game's fault. It's my fault. So don't sit there and complain to the game that you can't hold the lead. Next point. He's talking about the speed of the park. Now, I like the speed of the park. I think it's the same speed as it was before the patch. Uh, I'm running. When I play as my guard, I feel so fast, man. When you play as a big man and then go to a guard, it's just such a big difference. It's unbelievable, man. So make yourself a center or a power forward and then go back to your guard and see how quick the game is, man. I mean, it's crazy. When you play as a guard, especially when you're shorter, uh, you, the game is quick, man. The game still feels like the same speed as it was before patch 6. So, I don't see why he's complaining about that. I mean, guards should be faster than big men, which is the case right now. And big men should be slower than guards, which is the case right now as well. So, it's all good to me. The speed is still great, man. I mean, what are we running at? It's not like we're playing NBA Street or something like that. So, to me, the speed is not slow. The speed is, if anything, the speed is, is, uh, is still pick up. It's still... Pick up and play. It's still going at a good flowing tempo. So the speed is good to me. Next thing he's talking about is attribute caps. He's talking about wanting to be a beast inside the paint and a beast outside the paint. So he basically wants those, you know, big superstar players back in 2K15 where you were a beast inside with 99 layup and stuff like that. And you had a 95 shot outside the arc and stuff like that. I understand why 2K did it this year so they're making the game more balanced. Honestly, it's because ProM is here and stuff like that. So they want to make everything more balanced. And you see what ProM is doing. They have the Road to the Finals competition. They, they held that like yesterday. And, uh, you know, I think they had every single round played. And we had two teams going up against on June 1st. But you see why 2K does it, man. So I don't mind that because to me, if you really want to make an inside beast and an outside beast, just choose balanced score. That's it. That's what I am. I'm my, my shooting guard is a balanced score. And you see how I do in the park. I kill niggas outside and I kill niggas inside. So if you want to be specialized in both, just pick a balanced score. Even though I think 2K should raise the caps for balanced score a little bit. Maybe by two points. Maybe get balanced score at 84 standing shot mid or 85 standing shot mid and standing shot three. And maybe a, you know, a higher layup. Just a little bit. Just a little tiny increase. But that's it, man. You know, I like what they're doing with this stuff. Inside, you want to be an inside score? Cool. You want to be an outside score? Cool. You have your specialty right there. If you want to be balanced in each of them? Cool. That's your specialty. But keep it the way it is. I like the system they got right now. See, no complaints about it. Then he's talking about the story mode. And to me, the story mode was great. Uh, he's just talking about really convenience and stuff like that. That, you know, he doesn't want to have to go to the story mode every time he makes a new my player. I understand that. That's a legit complaint. That's cool. And he also talks about... Uh, you know, having to join the park to join your friends. Now, this is another thing that I don't, you know, I agree with in 2K. They need to fix that because back in 2K15, you could just join your friends straight from my career. This year, uh, you have to join the park and then join your friends. Or, you could just simply have everybody join your my court first. Which people, I don't know why people just don't understand that. Just have everybody join your my court first and then everybody joins you. Uh, and then the last thing he talks about is the Jordan Rex Center. Which I still don't understand why people want the Jordan Rex Center back. To me, it was laggy, it was glitchy, uh, it took a lot of time to start up. So to me, the Jordan Rec Center is not one of 2K's best features uh, in the past two years. And by the way, I like ProM a lot better than the Jordan Rec Center, man. ProM works fine. The only thing a lot of people want is rep being added to Jordan Rec Center. Uh, oh, not Jordan Rec Center, but ProM mode. Now, I was thinking about this before a couple months back, and I said that 2K should have ProM uh, rep to... Program, but then again, if you think about it, program and the park are two different modes. Say, for instance, someone plays just program games. So when he comes on the park, he's gonna have every single park. He's gonna have a lot of park rep, and this guy has never played park. So instead of adding rep to program, 
2K should just have, like, like I said before, double rep weekends where if you want to get rep on the park and you want to get more rep, then just go play when the 2K has double rep and it should have more rep boost, man. Not just two in the last seven months. Like, that's not enough, man. Honestly, 2K should just get rid of rep boost and do what Call of Duty does, do what Battlefield does, and have a double rep weekend. Like, is that so hard? That's going to include more... Uh, community involvement it's gonna make the game more fun more competitive during the weekends and you know that that's what they did during my park championship i believe you got additional rep uh during if you played on the opposing court but honestly this should just make it double rep man that would make everybody so much more fun to play but anyways man leave your thoughts in the comment section what you think about this, this guy's videos because i don't think nba 2k 17 is going to be trash man i think nba 2k 16 is one of the best 2k in years but hey it's just my opinion, but anyways, leave a like for more, and I'm out. Peace!